Pisces, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of February 2022. And I'll uh, do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see Pisces. What's going on? All right, the overall energy for the reading, the world card, coming into closing of a cycle. Basically closing off something here, a cycle, uh, which seems like it's a good one to close off here. In the starting off the reading is the Knight of Pentacles crossed by the Two of Cups. So you're heading in the direction of love here quite slowly, which doesn't feel like it's bothersome to you nor the other energy. It feels like it's a natural kind of organic way of going about things here. Uh, in your focus, really, you're putting an effort into something, but it's not much. It's it's not it's not like you're giving it your all for some reason. It's who knows. We'll we'll see when we clarify. In the recent past, something quite toxic here. So that's why I'm like eh, quite happy that you're ending a cycle because if it has to do with this good um that means healing has been done speaking of which in your strength the judgment card yeah lots of changes for the better um nice in the immediate future the two of pentacles a little bit of a feeling that you're at a crossroad for some reason not feeling stuck but feeling like well what do i do do i go left or right mm, let, let's let's go with right or whatever you know um just just that kind of an energy the uh, supportive energy here the four of swords healing which i see a lot of that still going on uh the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it you're in the energy of wish fulfillment so you're basically going about things from the perspective of this is what i want you know uh, in your hopes and fears, there you are standing in your power and in the potential outcome, a brand new beginning for you. A lot of signs got that for the potential outcome. Or am I wrong? No. A lot of signs, I feel like it's a collective kind of energy of um, stepping into something new for February. Nice. It is the second month of the year of 2022. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyways, let's clarify. Let me clarify the world card. The Ace of Wands, the Emperor, the Two of Wands. Waiting, waiting for someone to do something towards you, to bring something, an energy towards you. Uh, that's what's probably coming to an end here. Because I feel like you've been waiting on someone to do something and they're not doing it and they're not doing it and then you get disappointed and blah, blah, blah. No more. No more waiting. Uh, let me do the Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Alright, so what's making this path that you're on right now seems slow at times because i see you overall gaining this energy of uh emotional balance and heading into a pretty stable place overall so kind of having these grounding energies these balanced kind of energies overall now there's a little bit of pain there that you're carrying with you uh also that's what's making this uh, movement seem slow I don't know what that pain is. It could be attached to this Two of Cups. There could be still a lingering kind of energy of, yeah, I'm still hoping for that past situation to come together, even though, yeah, kind of moved on, but, eh, you know, I don't know. Let's see the Two of Cups. So this is your star. The star, the Eight of Pentacles, the Hermit. Definitely moved on from at least expectations. Um, you are heading towards this energy of you and another person coming together in love, 
but you're doing it more from a perspective of energetical feel to it rather than it has to be that person. Maybe you were stuck in the past on it has to be this particular person. Right now you're taking it more as an energy of, yeah, I want love, I'm gonna go for it. When it's out there, I'll see it, I'll know it, I'll go for it, you know? So this is more your newfound way of going towards love. Um, because you've healed a lot and you're still healing, as I said, and it's shown up everywhere in your reading there, you're in a big ass process of healing. Uh, still growing, still healing, still learning, you know? But your perception over love is starting to shift, you know, from it has to be one particular person into it has to be that energy of love. Let's do the Page of Swords. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. You're kind of struggling with this, though. For the Page of Swords, you get the Devil, the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. Uh, when you fall into the energy of let's not rush things, try not to force it. Try to not rush things because it feels that the energy is available in that way. You know? What if the energy says, Pisces, let's, uh, let's move a little. Let's pick up our, our pace here. Let's, let's giddy up a little bit. You're like, no, I don't want to force it, putting control over it, putting, again, a sense of, I need to be in charge here, I need to be in control here. And if you've done some healing up until this point, you may be able to understand at this point that it's not, it's not going to work out. You, 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 you know, either you go with the energies or you go against them because you feel like you need to be in control. And if you go against them, you know what happens. You know, it's not going to feel pleasant. So I feel like you're holding yourself back at times forcefully instead of just allowing the energy to flow and then kind of picking it up and then just rolling with it. Um, that's the devil energy here where it's popping in as a... a, a false sense of control you know that you may thought you had all your life over things even in the situation that you're moving away from I know they're gonna come forward did they because I still see you waiting here you know uh, but then closing off the cycle like, yeah okay I'm not gonna wait anymore you know let's do the devil in the recent past yeah there's healing there's healing on this one four of swords two of pentacles six of cups there's definitely healing uh, over this energy of the devil, which showed up here again with the sense of intentionally and forcefully holding yourself back. Um, even though the energies spoke different than what you were doing, basically. Let's do the judgment card in your strength. Ten of Wands, Ace of Swords is a judgment card. The, um, that's what the healing, that's what the major healing point is for you at this time. That whole sense of if you decide within yourself that you're ready to go do something, as hard as it is, go do it, you know? Because that's what this energy is trying to teach you. And that's why the devil showed up twice already here. And then this one here where you're, you're showing me, it's difficult. It's difficult to go do what it is that I feel that I want to do. Make sure first you feel that and that sense of feeling something doesn't come from your own pain or make sure it's aligned with what you really feel inside. You know, like I want to go have an ice cream right now. What the hell is up with me and ice cream today? Anyways, I want to go have an ice cream. Go. But, you know, the car is cold by the time I warm it up. By the, nah, nah. You just rejected what you want, what you feel. You know, start with small things like, not ice cream. I feel like I talked about ice cream all day today. I think I need some ice cream. But I'm working. See? See what I did just there? Yeah. 
I pull the Pisces. Uh, let's. <laughs> I will go get that freaking ice cream. Uh, let's go do the Two of Pentacles. Let's go. Let's go get some ice cream. Uh, in the immediate future, the Five of Cups, the Temperance card, the Six of Swords. Yeah, I mean, indecision, indecision. So it's, I feel like the heaviness of you aligning with what it is that you want to do is finding those reasons not to do it. So that indecision, that place of, should I go left, should I go right? If I go... If I go left, then what if right is the right choice, and then I, I blow it, and, but not sitting there for long, but just deciding eventually. Intuitively, you don't decide like that. Intuitively, you, you stay there on the line of left and right. Quiet your mind. Breathe three times deeply. You'll lean in a particular direction. Your body will. Listen to your body. And that's where you're going not in the head that's what you've done in the past i see you doing that but you're walking away from this energy which is telling me that again you're starting to align more and more with what you want now start to align with what it is that you want to do and then go do it basically you know let's do uh let's do the four of swords and the supportive energies Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, the Magician. You're manifesting something brand new for you here. And I feel like your manifestation is starting to pay off here. It's starting to show. Um, <clears throat> very determined. I like this. Like, I want to create something new. But you know this new involves you doing also. So it's kind of ironic that your bigger lesson here is that of... I feel like I want to do something, let me go do it, you know? Especially when you have the Queen of Swords here, that's a, an energy of the mind, of the, of, well, of the doer, of the knower and doer. Let's do the star. Ooh. 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 Yeah, okay, I'll tell you what it is. I'll stop ooing. Um, Ace of Cups, the Sun, the three, the three of Cups. So your star, your wish fulfillment, your desire is that of finding love, happiness. You know? And again, I see it more as a concept than it has to be with this person. Yeah, you have them as a model, let's say. They did carry an energy of love inside of them, so it's not necessarily what shapes that love outside, it's what they brought. So that could be your model into what you're looking for, but it's more of an energetic model here of love that you're seeking. For the Queen of Cups, you get the Hierophant, the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Man! So you not only want that energetical uh, model of love, you do have some sort of outside pattern to that. But again, I don't see it assigned to a fixation of someone in particular. It's one of those, you know, yeah, it would be nice if they would be stable, if they would be like this, like that, which is not a bad thing necessarily, you know? Whatever the case, I feel like this energy is um, close, close by, that you're desiring. Let's do the Ace of Pentacles for the potential outcome. The Knight of Cups, the World card, the Eight of Swords. <sighs> Why do I feel like you're going back? You're spinning on a wheel here. When it comes to love, at least, like you're 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 starting off on this wheel of all right. This is the exit from this situation right here. So let me start spinning this wheel, and then you do this huge ass loop, progress, healing, all sorts of good things, and then somehow you end up in the same energy that you just dropped. There's some healing that needs to be done there. Because you're going to repeat the pattern. 
you're gonna repeat the pattern that you're just closing off. And it ends with you being in your head about things, being stuck in your head about things. You know, where you're overthinking things. Uh, you could be bringing in the stories of the past and repeating them without even realizing that you are. That tells me you're not in the present much. When love does show up, you go back to the past because that's your reference to love. But what's ironic about this is that in this energy right here, you're showing me you're looking for a new pattern of love. So you might be finding a new pattern with love, but treating it under the pattern of love as you knew it. Give love a chance to be what it is, you know, to show up as what it is without you putting, placing that past experience on it. Let it show up, deal with it when it shows up, as it shows up. Don't look at it and be like, I recognize you, you're loved, you're gonna act exactly the way that love acted in the past for me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Be with it, let it be what it is. Don't tell it what it is, because it's gonna be that if you tell it what it is. So uh, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Six of Swords, Five of Swords, Ace of Cups. Yeah, yeah, this is kind of like the path towards a new love, but bringing in the old with you. So whatever it is that you're leaving behind here, you're not leaving it behind completely. You're bringing in quite an important energy to the new love. And that is the old pattern of love. And you're gonna dress up this new love that shows up in the old clothes. Don't do that. You know, you've got your experience from that. Heal it, work with it. Don't dress up the new love in old clothes. So let's see some final words from the universe has your back oracle deck. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.